Hi, this is Monique with Video Gaming Anime Network, and today I'll be showing you how to convert a volume from FAT32 to NTFS without formatting or losing data. Now as you can see, I'm currently running a Windows Server 2012 evaluation environment. So let's go ahead and go to our tools and choose Computer Management. Now here you'll see a variety of utilities that you can go ahead and access. For now, the only one we'll be concerned of is Disk Management, which is located under the storage. So go ahead and click Disk Management. Now here you'll see a variety of volumes, our active primary, and this disk that's currently offline. So let's go ahead and turn this disk online. Right click and choose Online. Now here you'll still see that it's an unallocated disk space, so we'll need to create a volume. Let's go ahead and right click and choose New Simple Volume. Now here you'll be presented of a wizard for creating a new simple volume. So go ahead and choose Next. And here you'll be able to define what kind of space that you want to go ahead and allocate this new volume. Let's go ahead and choose the maximum amount, which we currently have available, that's 10 gigabytes and choose Next. Here you'll be presented to choose a drive letter or create a mount point. Let's just go ahead and create a drive letter. So choose the letter K and click Next. Here you'll be presented with a formatting partition. For this exercise we'll go ahead and change the NTFS to FAT32 and we'll leave the allocation unit size as default since we're not creating any kind of SQL environment. But let's go ahead and rename this volume label from new volume to Hello Kitty and choose Next. Here you'll be presented with a summary of information that you made your configurations on the volume. So if everything looks correct, go ahead and choose Finish. Give it a minute to create itself and there you go. So you can see we currently have a volume that's FAT32. So let's go ahead and create some sort of document uh, under this particular drive. Go ahead and right click and choose new and choose a text document. We'll call this document Hello Kitty World. And no, this is not my first programming exercise. and go ahead and save that document and exit out. So before you go ahead and actually do the conversion from FAT32 to NTFS, the best practice really is to take a backup of that drive. Now you can go ahead and put the backup on USB, you can go ahead and put the backup on another drive. If you have a SAN environment, you can go ahead and put that on just a newly created volume. As long as you have some sort of backup, uh, which is just best practice. So let's just go ahead and open now PowerShell, or if you want to, you can open up a command line. And here you want to go ahead and type in the following executable command. Convert. Since we went ahead and labeled the volume K, we'll put K drive here. And then we'll go ahead and put slash FS and TFS. And here you'll be presented the type of file system is FAT32, which we'll be converting to NTFS. Enter the current volume label for drive K. Well, if you remember correctly, we went ahead and labeled it Hello Kitty. So let's go ahead and label it Hello Kitty. And here you'll see a variety of different information for the serial number and Windows verifying the files and folders. And you'll see the total disk space, which is 10 gigabytes. And it'll tell you that, hey, I'm converting the file system right now. And then it'll tell you that the conversion's complete. So let's go ahead and check to see if the volume actually went ahead and converted to NTFS. So let's go back to our computer management. And here you can see that this disk one here which is our K drive, labeled Hello Kitty, 
change from FAT32 to NTFS. Now let's go ahead and open it to make sure that our document's actually there for testing and verification purposes and that we didn't lose any data. So right click on the volume and click open. And here you can see that our text document that we did create, Hello Kitty World, is there. So let's go ahead and right click and open it. And you can see that the information that I implemented into this text document, and no, this is not my first programming exercise, is still there. Well, thank you for joining me on the lesson for converting FAT32 to NTFS without formatting or losing data. Please join me on my next exercise. Thank you.